Hello everyone, this is Eric Sauve, also known as the Power Diver. Um, this is a demonstration on how to code a loop in a Canvas app. Um, you might uh, face a situation where you need to process uh, multiple pages, for example, within a connector, and you need to build a collection, and you need to do the same kind of script over and over again for each of those pages. Uh, this can be useful. In my example here, I just set a, the number of loops that I want to process through a slider and uh, it's just going to add up uh, one to the number and then end whenever you set the maximum. I've also included a fourth stop button just in case that uh, if in your example you change this and somehow you forget to uh, set the max or do a process that um, will end up uh, generating an infinite loop well, you're able to kind of force stop this. So for example, here the uh, maximum is 87. I can change it, let's say, to 58. I start the loop. And here it's going to increment all the way up to 58, as you see. If I start it again and force stop, it's going to stop wherever it was there. OK, get it? So let's go into the details. So I have my canvas app here, my control, the slider. I've just set it with a min of 1, max of 100, and by default 50. Pretty much this is just for the example purpose. Normally in a, a loop that is programmed, like for processing through uh, different pages of that uh, connector, uh, you wouldn't need this, but it's just so I can have an application that uh, demonstrate this. Um, then second step in my start button. This is where the core, um, no, actually, sorry. The start button, what it will do, uh, it will set a variable. So if I go on my uncheck of, on select, sorry, of the start button, the only thing I do here is first, I set my number of loop to the slider value. Then I just say, set my starting point as one. I make sure my for stop is set to false. And then I set my demo flag start loop here uh, to true. What this makes is when we look here at the bottom here, I have my toggle. The toggle is based on what? Based on that variable we just looked at, demo flag start, start loop. So when it's set to true, the text that appears then, if we go to true text, Gonna say looping, and if it's false, it's gonna be stopped like this. And what we want to look at is the uncheck event. This is where the stuff happens. So this is where you would do your loop um, actual process or script. So here, I just set my toggle back to false. Then I do my actual processing here. I set the um, iteration number, I just add one to it. But this is where I would do, for example, reading my collection, uh, going through the pages. For example, in the return I get, I get the previous and next page. If you think of a book, um, you get one page per call, and then you have the pointer to the next page or the previous page. So here, I would go to the next page, get it, and then loop back. So loop back is if I have a uh, next page, then I would set the variable to true. What this makes, it makes the toggle go back to true and the uncheck event comes back. In this little example, I just make sure that my fourth step is not, uh, has not been pushed and if I'm within my limits that I've set with the, uh, the slider. But really in your case, in a real implementation, this, is, this would not be required. It's really here, processing, and then at the final is looking at um, what do you, uh, what makes your loop stop in your case? Pretty straightforward. And here the text is just my current loop, the iteration. So if we look at it again, I just start. So you see this is looping and then it stopped. That's it. Thank you. And if you need uh, to download the app, just go to. Uh, you can go to the blog article or you can actually, sorry, you can um, 
go to the PGB bank, the PGB per platform bank. I'll put the um, the link at the bottom, and you can just go here and download the application. It's just there for you uh, to test and modify. Have fun. Keep on diving.